If stimulus payments were legit. April 17, 2020 by Anna Von Reitz. There are now millions of people wondering, WT. Here's the replay. The president announces relief payments to help soften the economic stress caused by the Federales' own overblown reaction to a more infectious form of the common cold, which minions of their own government services corporation created and unleashed. President Trump declares a national emergency for the United States, neglecting as usual to say which United States is being referenced. We issue a brief statement saying that the United States of America is not declaring any kind of national emergency for Americans. Right? Got that now? They are on lockdown. They are in yet another national emergency. We're not. People who claim their birthright political status, that is, Americans, are only impacted because, one, more of us stand to get bad colds and therefore, to die from bad colds this winter, and, two, their shutdown inconveniences us and costs us money. Now, you are being told that you have to apply for these funds. Any time that the federal government says have to and apply, your Shinola sensor should go off like a fog horn and you should think, wait a minute, Homer, in the immortal words of Marge Simpson. Nobody should have to take freebie money. And if it's a payment in lieu of damage claims, which is what they are angling for, why would you have to apply for it? It's like applying to lose money. Why wouldn't they be standing on street corners, anxiously handing out such an opportunity with an apologetic smile? After all, they are the ones who caused the whole problem. They are the ones liable for the damage. If they can get people to accept $1,200 checks in lieu of damage claims, they should be praying and sweating and hoping it flies. Apply is one of those words like submit that shouldn't be in the vocabulary between an American and a federal subcontractor like the word, benefit, too. The verbiage provides them the means to make it look like you are seeking federal welfare and voluntarily applying for federal welfare. And that would imply that you are a government dependent and ward of the state. Which is what they need evidence of, in order to keep claiming that you are their property and that all your private property and assets are theirs to use as collateral backing their debts. It's the same old shtick. They hope to claim and use estates that are worth billions in exchange for $1,200. So, if you want to be purchased for $1,200, and let them benefit from your labor and everything else that should rightfully be yours, step right up and apply for these welfare benefits disguised as stimulus payments. What they are hoping to stimulate is an undisclosed settlement of your claims against them. Or, you can, just say no, and join like-minded Americans to sue the rats for all they've got. Have you and your business suffered more than $1,200 because of this fiasco? Yes, I bet you have. So why not sue, the, United States, Inc., for the entire amount? Bill Gates is one of their corporate officers. Anthony Fauci owns the offending patents under their delegated authority. The United States, Inc. is responsible for these men and those patents, too. S asterisk asterisk T still flows downhill in the world where I live. It's the same thing with all the petty pandering little handout loans to businesses, too. Take the bait, and they get a free claim on your business, get to regulate your business, and then decide if they will forgive the loan, when the only one who should be doing any forgiving, and only if you want to, is you. Again, they are the ones who are liable and responsible for all this damage to both people and private businesses. Under our law, which we get to enforce, their corporate officers, Gates and Fossey and the rest of the Rat Pack, are liable, which means that the United States, Inc., is liable, too. In the world of corporations, everything is backwards, so S asterisk asterisk T actually does flow uphill. This is why Donald Trump, acting as the captain of that particular ship and the members of the Municipal Congress, all managed to work together in a bipartisan way to pass the stimulus package, to bail out their own sorry rumps and try to avoid the liability for it by offering the dumb bunnies free money. But it's not free. Remember children, there is no such thing as a free lunch. Repeat as often as necessary. Not only are they trying to get you to settle for $1,200, it's not clear exactly what you would be settling, damage claims from the coronavirus fiasco? Certainly. But maybe also bankruptcy claims against the United States, Inc., too. And what would you be giving up? Your claim to your independence and your political status as an American and the right to own your own property and enjoy the benefit of your own labor. That's all. 
And finally, to top it all off, all this money they are giving away would have been your money, except that we already charged it back to the Pope and the Queen as gifts they offered us. If these stimulus payments were legitimate and what they profess to be, they would be distributed to everyone with a pulse, no strings attached, as grants and gifts, clearly labeled as such. The fact that they are not being distributed in this honest fashion tells you that a different agenda is in play. Run, like an antelope, away. And keep your claims against the rats intact.